Craig here from Geef. Um, I'm here with Damien O'Connor, our service manager. Um, Damien, in terms of re uh, hydraulic requirements for the new GTO2 tilt hitch, what, what's needed on the machine for this? Okay, as you said, it's a hydraulic coupler, so the base is hydraulic and the tilt section is hydraulic. So you need two sets of lines to connect this coupler to the machine. Um, so on the base, which is the section that picks up on your attachment, Pipes, uh, uh, the coupler is pre-plumbed to the front of the coupler, so that's pre-plumbed in the factory, which so makes it a lot easier for okay. installer to put this on the machine. So you do need to connect jumper lines from the front of the coupler and the loop up here into a dipper block on the machine um, to connect it into the quick coupler lines. Um, this machine came pre-piped, but if you needed a hydraulic kit, you know we do f supply full hydraulic kits to. For the quick coupler. For the base okay, of the quick coupler, quick. yes. Yeah. On the tilt section, you've got the tilt section here. Um, you do need an auxiliary line on the machine. Most machines come now with auxiliary lines. This is a hammer lines. So they're used for, you know, grabs, hammers, tums. And um, what we've done is we've added a T-piece in here or a shutoff valve. And we've basically ran a second set of auxiliary lines down to the tilt head. Typically for the tilt actuator, all machines now have an auxiliary circuit. So there's nothing additional needed. Um, most, to, yeah, most modern machines have actuator. an auxiliary sure. line. And, you know, some of them have two or even three sets of auxiliaries. This particular machine only had one auxiliary. So we put in a lever valve to give, to leave the functionality okay. of the, the existing auxiliary. Um, so yeah, so you've got your lines heading down to the manifold block on the machine. Um, this block has got a, an integrated double uh, pilot operated check valve. So basically that locks all the aisle in the coupler when you're operating. 